It's time now to check our Global Mail, and we do want to begin in D.C., where President Trump awarded wrestler Dan Gable with the Medal of Freedom. That is a big deal. White House correspondent Dave Martosco is here with us now. And David, it was actually Gable's grandchildren who really stole the show, huh? Well, Thomas, they say in the theater, don't work with animals or kids. Well, one of them will upstage you and the other one will pee on stage. So it could have been weirder. But Gable's grandkids showed off what his old opponents looked like at the 72 Olympics, exhausted and sprawled out on the Oval Office rug. One of them leaned on the Resolute desk like he's ready to be JFK Jr. in 1963. When Gable was asked if Trump could take him in a wrestling match, he said, no chance. I'm not sure if Trump heard him because he was too busy glaring at the kid's parents for letting him bounce around the Oval in sneakers. No masks anywhere, by the way, and Gable is 72, but he manhandled the Soviets back when I was a toddler, so maybe his genes are stronger than the coronavirus. Maybe so. Congratulations, though, to Dan Gable. Very cute grandkids. David Martosko with the latest out of DC Force. David, thank you.